Hello guys! In this episode we will talk about 10 things you have to see in... 10 things you have to see in... Brussels! Mm, Brussels! The capital of Belgium! Number 1. Grand Place! The Grand Place is the central square of Brussels. It is surrounded by opulent guild halls and two larger edifices, the city's town hall and the bread house building containing the Museum of the City of Brussels. Every two years, in August, an enormous flower carpet is set up in the Grand Place for a few days. The square is the most important tourist destination and the most memorable landmark in Brussels. Number 2. Mannequin Peace Mannequin Peace, meaning Little Man P in Dutch, is a landmark small bronze sculpture in Brussels depicting a naked little boy urinating in a fountain's basin. It was designed by Hieronymus de Quesnoy, the Elder. Mannequin Peace is a well-known public sculpture in Brussels. Number 3. The Atomium. The Atomium is a building in Brussels originally constructed for Expo 58, the 1958 Brussels World's Fair. Designed by the engineer Andre Waterkin and architects Andre and Jean Pollock, it stands 102 meters or 335 feet tall. It consists of nine steel spheres connected by tubes and forms the shape of a unit cell of an iron crystal magnified 165 billion times. CNN named it Europe's most bizarre building. The top sphere includes a restaurant which has a panoramic view of Brussels. Number 4. The King Baruin Stadium. 
The King Bodin Stadium, earlier the Hazel Stadium, is a sports ground in the Hazel section of the Brussels municipality in northwest Brussels. Unfortunately, this stadium is primarily known for the disaster that occurred in 1985 when escaping fans were pressed against the collapsing wall before the start of the European Cup final between Football Club Juventus of Italy and Football Club Liverpool of England. In 1995, a decade after the disaster, the ground was rebuilt and at this time renamed into King Bodin Stadium. Number 5. European Quarter Brussels is considered the de facto capital of European Union, having a long history of hosting the institutions of the European Union within its European Quarter. The European Union has no official capital and no plans to declare one, but Brussels hosts the official seats of the European Commission, the Council of Ministers and the European Council, as well as a seat of the European Parliament. One of the most important buildings is the Berlaymont that houses the headquarters of the European Commission. Number 6. Cinquantenaire Park Cinquantinier is a large public urban park in the easternmost part of the European Quarter in Brussels. Originally this area was part of the military exercise ground outside of the center of the city. In the central place of the park there is Cinquantenaire Triumphal Arch. Number 7. Cinquantenaire Triumphal Arch. In the heart of Cinquantenaire Park is Brussels Triumphal Arch. Most buildings of the U-shaped complex which dominate the park were commissioned by the Belgian government under the patronage of King Leopold II. 
The Royal Military Museum has been the sole tenant of the northern half of the complex since 1880. The southern half is occupied by the Cinquantenaire Museum and the Outer World Museum. Number 8. Brussels' Chocolate Brussels is known for its local waffle, its numerous types of beers and its chocolate. The city is stronghold of chocolate and pralines manufacturers with renewed companies like Newhaus, Leonidas and Godiva. If you like chocolate, you will enjoy in Brussels for sure. Number 9. Mini Europe Park Mini Europe is a miniature park located at the foot of the Atomium building in Brussels. Mini Euro Park has reproductions and 1 to 25 scale maquettes of famous monuments and buildings from across Europe. Roughly 80 cities and 350 buildings are represented. And number 10, ready for this? Anderlecht! Anderlecht is part of the Brussels and one of the 19 municipalities of the Brussels capital region. There are several historically and architecturally distinct districts within the Anderlecht municipality. Anderlecht is well known for the RSC Anderlecht, the most successful Belgian football club. That's it, guys. See you in the next episode. Bye bye, guys. And if you want your place in one of the following episodes, please write to our email address that is written below. <laughs>